But I, I gotta ask, is anybody religious? Give it up. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm not shitting on anyone's religion. If you want to believe what you want to believe, man. I ain't, I ain't telling nobody to believe anything they don't want to. And vice versa. But I think organized religions are getting a bad rap right now, you know? They do some good things, too. I guess I don't really have an opinion about it. <laughs> well, there's one thing I'll say about organized religions, though. And that is that their outdated belief systems, while at their conception were well-meaning, have been twisted by the leaders of men throughout history into systematic brainwashing machines whose only goals are power and money, and it's proven in their own rhetoric that glorifies poverty, shits on individuality, and tells good people who don't know any better that the best they can hope for out of this life is to lead a quiet, unopinionated existence of servitude in the name of an invisible man in the sky, who's represented on Earth by a bunch of sex-starved weirdos who live tax-free in marble mansions, and who guilt and frighten their followers into giving them money that's supposed to be donated to the poor, but is oftentimes spent on speaker systems, gold incense holders, and 30-foot statues that can't be eaten or slept in, but are supposed to represent represent the compassion of the religious establishment. Establishment represents the idea that we just shut the fuck up and do what we're told for the rest of our lives. By the time we die, we're gonna go to a magical land filled with waterfalls and talking seahorses. But it's all bullshit and it does not exist. We need to emancipate ourselves from the guilt and pseudo morals of the first world, break open the doors of the church, let homeless people sleep in there the way Jesus would have done. Start finally practicing what you push on others, nung in the backyard, smoke a joint, and jack off to the stars, because that'll get us closer to heaven than praying to a fucking statue ever will. Uh, That just kind of slipped out there. <laughs> All improv. So I was raised Catholic. <laughs> and I started reading books. Yeah, it turns out all bullshit. I remember when I gave up on the church, I was like 14 years old. And when you go to Catholic school, which I did for 15 years, they really start nailing in the anti-sex stuff when you get to high school, you know? They'll say to like a 14-year-old boy, who can't do anything but have an erection. They say, don't you think about sex, you little freak. If you do, when you die, they'll burn you for all eternity. In the meantime, check out these girls in thigh-high stockings and kilts up to their assholes. But don't you think about sex, you little fuck. God doesn't want you to. Really? Well, he's got a weird way of showing it, putting me in this living porno like this. And telling a 14-year-old boy not to jack off, who the hell do you think you are? That's all he's got. He's got his dick and his Xbox. Don't you dare take one of those things away from him. You remember being a 14-year-old boy, man? Like a gentle summer breeze would hit your balls, and you'd be like, oh, I gotta fuck something! <laughs> Nobody wants to fuck you, because you're 14 and you are gross. You are a gross human when you're 14. Remember being 14? They're so disgusting. Hi, I collect pogs. Oh. Go back to where you came from. So let him have his jack-off session, okay, everybody? Telling a 14-year-old boy not to masturbate is like telling Rosie O'Donnell not to drink gravy. It's just what she does, you know what I mean? Can't get mad at Fatty Boom Boom. Some other religions will do some pretty crazy stuff, too, like uh, circumcision. I'm uh, not Jewish, but I'm circumcised, and that's a theft. I want it back. <laughs> yeah, that guy wants it back for me, too. <laughs> it's a weird thing, though, when you think about it, you know what I mean? I just don't think it should be someone else's choice whether or not you get to keep all of your penis. <laughs> Where the hell did this happen? You wake up one day, you notice in the shower with the other guys at school, you're like, it's not quite the same. <laughs> I go home and I ask my mom, I say, what the, why is mine different? And she goes, well, it's okay. See, when you were a baby, we cut the tip of your cock off. <laughs> but it's okay, because you were a baby. Well, why the hell is that okay to do to a baby? You can't punch a baby. If I had a baby right here and I hit him in the face, everyone would attack me immediately because that is wrong. But you cut the tip of his penis off, everyone just stands around shaking hands and giving money to each other. You know what I mean? It's fucking child abuse. How did we miss this shit? So I was like, what's child abuse? Is spanking child abuse? Maybe. I don't know. You know what totally is? Cutting the tip of someone's dick off. And did you know that 60% of the nerve endings in the penis are in the foreskin? So if you don't have a foreskin, you only feel 40% of what a regular guy feels when he has sex. A lot of people just got mad at their moms right there. <laughs> I'm like, that fucking bitch! I knew it! 
It just really shouldn't be someone else's choice. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? And you know whose choice it definitely shouldn't be? Is the lady whose pretty little vagina got ripped up by the kid who came through her. She's looking for revenge right the fuck away. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, should we cut the tip of his penis off, madam? She's like, cut his whole dick off. Look what he did to me. <laughs> eye for an eye, crotch for a crotch. It looks like a fucking shredded truck tire. I want redemption. <laughs> So not her choice. 